in view of the implications of the local manufacturing capacity in terms of jobs, productivity, forex savings and revenue, it is not reasonable to provide duty and levy exemptions to importers of goods that can be produced locally. And that is the commitment I made to the country, and that is the assignment I gave to Parliament under the chairmanship of Mr. Kemani here and his team, that clinker, we are not going to be importing clinker, we will manufacture locally. Cement, we are not going to be importing cement, we are going to manufacture locally. Steel, we are not going to be importing steel, we will manufacture locally. Furniture, we are not going to be importing furniture, we are going to manufacture locally. Just imagine, ati kuna mutu anasema, ati tuagize kitanda kutoka marekani. Ama meza, ama kiti. Siyo ni ukumbafu kubwa sana. Yani, ni waulize watu wa West Pokot. Kutengeneza furniture, kitanda, sijui, meza, sijui nini. Inaitaji ujuzi mingi. Inaitaji tu seremala. Na musumeno, na randa, na nyundo, na musumari. Mambo imekwisha, si kitanda hiko tayari. Na tumemambia wale wanataka kuimport kitanda kutoka sijui wapi. Hiyo kazi wa awata, awata fanya. Na kama hawataki kulala kitanda imetengeneswa na wakenya, wanaweza kulala chini. That's no problem. Hakuna mtu watakufa kwa sababu walilala chini. So... We must believe in Kenya. We must be patriotic to our nation. Na mimi nataka ni washukuru watu wa West Pokot. Governor wenu amesema hapa ya kwamba nyinyi mmejitolea, mmezalisha chakula. And I want to thank the people of West Pokot mmezalisha chakula ya kutosha, mkajilisha wenyewe na mkatusaidia kulisha wa Kenya wengine. Pia governor wenu amesema mmepata mbolea. Mimi wakati nilikuja hapa nikaomba kura zenu. Mimi kati ya mambo niliwaeleza ni kwamba hii mambo ya polea mimi naelewa. Na tutapunguza karama ya mbolea. Hiyo ilikuwa elfu sita mwaka huu tuna, eh, tunauza na elfu mbili na miatana. Na bado tuko na mpango. Na hiyo kazi ambayo tumefanya ya kupunguza hiyo gharama ya mbolea imetusaidia kwa kahawa, imetusaidia kwa chai imetusaidia kwa sukari imetusaidia kwa mahindi imetusaidia kwa ngano we have production now in Kenya na Mungu akatubarikia na mvua mwaka uliopita na mwaka huu mimi nataka niwaulize wa Kenya wote let us focus and make sure that we remove and eliminate the shame of hunger in our nation by making sure that we produce mimi nataka niwashukuru wa Kenya wengi Siku hizi nakuta hata watu ambao hawajawahi kulima. Siku hizi wameanza kulima. Watu walikuwa na tai mzuri mzuri huko Nairobi. Siku hizi wamerudi mashambani, wanalima na kurudi Nairobi. Mimi nasema pongezi kwa wa Kenya. It is a moment in history where all of us as a nation know what we need to do to deal with the shame of hunger in our country by making sure that we enhance our productivity. Na ndio mimi nataka niwaeleze wakulima wa Kenya ya kwamba tuko na mbolea ya kutosha. Tulikuwa na changamoto kwa sababu ya kusafirisha mbolea, tuko na vita huko sijui Ukraine, tuko na vita huko katika Red Sea ikatulazimisha tuzungushe fertilizer ipitie mpaka ipite South Africa ikachelewa eh, kidogo pale nyuma lakini tuko na fertilizer ya kutosha every farmer will get the correct fertilizer na wale watu wachache kwa sababu kuna wakora ambao wanataka kuhujumu hiyo kazi ya muhimu ya kuzalisha chakula nilisema na narudia nikiwa hapa West Pokot hawa watu ambao kuna kampuni moja inaitwa KEL sijui nini nimesema hawa watu number one, kama kuna fertilizer mkulima amenunua na sio correct huyo mkulima lazima akue compensated apatiwe fertilizer ingine free of charge na wakora wote mambo yao ni matatu. Ama tulikubaliana namna gani? Si mambo ni matatu. Eh wakora wajipange. So na mimi nataka nishukuru. 
what parliament did 